circle. We're back. Yep. Well, Bill didn't go anywhere, but I've been playing Mr. Semi-Professional IT Guy for two months. <laughs> On deck, another run of concert toms for Steve Weiss. You can see this time, Bill's trying little end caps and spraying the die, as opposed to wiping on the die, occasionally sanding back and applying a second coat of dye. From what I've seen, it does save some time. Yeah, it's, it seems to be working. I'm getting like a tiny bit of overspray on the edges or inside, but it's all like within what I think is reasonable to just like tap on the sanding table and like a quick pass with sandpaper on the inside. And overall, I, I think it's faster, even with the masking jig, which cut the time by like 75%. I think this is probably still going to wind up faster in the long run. Also on deck are the four rope tension drums. Need to get some inventory up on the site as we go into muster season. So try to score some sales. So wet sanding these four. Going to get them on the buffing wheel. Bill's going to spray clear coat on the toms. Then he's going to move to adding the inner two ply to these hoops. We'll see how far we get. into some issues with these drums. I sanded them to 400, they looked great. Hit them with the six, peeled off a little more. Started seeing some of this 
Uh, it almost looks like a delamination, but it's not because nothing peels. But it, it's definitely delineation between layers. We've seen this once before and the buffing wheels took it out. This time the buffing wheels did not. In fact, the shinier I got them, the more noticeable they were. So I brought them back over here to try to wet sand back and even it out. And all it's doing is changing the shapes. That one looks the worst, but you can see it on all of them. You can't see it as well on this because of the crazy grain. But unfortunately, even the walnut one shows it in the right light. We also have a dead roller in the booth. So the rebuild on this might come sooner than later. Time. Time is the factor, because there's none of it. me more than it does you. to do this but uh <laughs> see what happens i mean everything else has been going so well today i know right i have that feather board pretty tight but this thing is such a mess it seemed like a good idea can you reach the button oh, i mean that's there you go now let's see what happens These are the leather ears for the leady drum we've been working on. Gonna have the symmetrical tapered style. And instead of raw hide, they're gonna be laced up with the thick gauge uh, waxed thread. The hooks are bronze. Bill finished the machining on the bronze strainer. Shell's ready to go. So basically, once these are laced up, probably do a polish on the hardware quick, and then it'll be ready for assembly. Bill's throwing a coat of satin on the 12 inch toms. That's a wrap. Couple steps forward, couple steps backwards. We didn't get to the lamination, taking some drum heads to donate to the Weymouth Public School System. It just occurred to me that the Tycos are gone. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna have to fly in some pictures. I have a couple pictures of when one was roped and then the others were roped. And then you'll have to send me a picture of them on the stands because I don't have that one. Yeah. 
and it turned out pretty rad. The things are huge and they haven't shipped yet, so we don't know the price on the shipping. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. Because I'm interested. And hopefully next time uh, we make some headway on the toms and dig into the leady. Or at least Bill does. Because Lord knows when I'll be back. It's true.